Welcome to the program. I'm Andrew Wilkow. We are just 28 days from the presidential election, and gas prices have hit $5 a gallon in California, and it's Barack Obama's fault. Let me stress that. It's Barack Obama's fault. You might be tempted to say that I can't blame Obama for the shutdown of the Exxon refinery at Torrance, California, after a power outage. Fine. But it was this president who promised that under his energy plan, costs would, and I quote, necessarily skyrocket. It takes energy to make energy. But forgetting that for a second. The big issue here is the effect that two refineries have on gas pricing. An Exxon refinery in California lost power last Monday and shut down. Before that, a fire at the Chevron plant forced their production to be cut in half. And that Chevron plant is also the largest in the state. The impact has led to California having the most expensive gas in the country, with prices hitting a record high the past three consecutive days. Today's high, 4.67, is 50 cents higher than a week ago, and 87 cents above the level it was this time last year, according to the AAA. The average cost of a gallon of gas across the country is $3.81 and getting closer and closer to $4 a gallon. And if you think this is a problem that's specific to California, think again. Think supply and demand. The refinery problems in California have pushed up prices by at least a dollar in a dozen other states. If we'd been tapping our own domestic resources, and key phrase here, adding refineries, none of this would be a problem. But ever since Jimmy Carter, progressives have been using a by any means necessary approach to shutting down our fossil fuels energy sector. And the worst part is, Democrats only pretend to care about the price effect when it hurts voters and hurts them in the polls. Remember Nancy Pelosi? She felt your pain at the pump, but then blamed it on the oil man, George W. Bush. Drivers are paying a heavy price for the Bush administration's failure to enact a comprehensive energy strategy. Years of Bush administration's policies that have favored big oil over the consumers have resulted in record dependence on foreign oil, leaving American families and businesses to pay even higher prices. This Congress, under the Democratic leadership, is working to make up for years of inaction, taking America in a new direction that helps bring down the cost of gas and, and promotes energy independence. I want you to make a mental record of that progressive saying high gas prices bad. By the way, did, did she propose any legislation to permanently reduce gas taxes as Speaker of the House? The Green Marxists, including Obama, have finally brought us to the edge. And any wrinkle on the supply side could have massive ramifications with regard to consumer pricing. Now, speaking of California specifically, you wanted this, and now you got it. Concerns about a California-based gas tax plan have been around for years. Here's a quote from the Tax Foundation, July 17, 2009. And I quote, The proposed pollution tax on carbon-based fuels seeks to discourage carbon-based fuel use, stabilize gas and diesel prices at a higher level with a price floor, and use refundable tax credits to offset or even make the plan revenue neutral. The proposal says, and I quote, adopt a pollution tax on carbon-based fuels. The proposed pollution tax on the fuels will be structured so that it moves inversely with the price of crude oil, effectively putting a rough floor under the price of gasoline. The intention also is that the tax is borne by California residents so as to promote more efficient use of energy, i.e. driving, home heating, etc. You guys happy now? 